Welcome back guys. Today is a very big day because we're turning the key and we're going to try and get the Healy running for the first time in 30 years. Let's go and take a look. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Right then, a little bit on the engine before we get too involved with turning the key. The engine came with the car. It had been professionally machined and then assembled by the previous owner. But me and dad being like we are, we don't want to leave anything to chance. So we stripped it and we rebuilt it again. So if anything goes wrong today with the engine, it's on us. Obviously it's an M-Spec engine, so you've got the M-Spec camshafts and the associated ancillaries as well. And ancillaries wise, we have the H6 inch and three quarter SU carbs, which have been rebuilt by Berlin. And distributor wise, we have the M-Spec distributor, which has been rebuilt by Distributor Doctor. We have a high torque starter motor, we have a brand new battery, and everything you see in that engine bay is brand new. We've set the gaps on our plugs and our points. We've set our static timing and we've got our oil pressure. So as far as we're concerned, we also have fuel, a brand new fuel pump. We have fuel pressure, we have no leaks. So as far as we're concerned, it should be turnkey and ready to go. Now we've also, if you've not watched our previous videos, you won't know, but we have a Revatec fan the electric fan on our radiator. Now that's set to come in at about 90 to 95 degrees, but we will have an additional fan, an electric one, in front of the car to aid in cooling, because we will want, want to run this engine at about 2000 RPM for the first 20 minutes of running, which is like an initial bedding for the flat tappet lifter cam, and it's what we need to do. So it's gonna get hot, it's gonna get warm, and we need to try and keep it cool. So I think I'm talking too much and I'm not doing enough. So it is time to make it work. Let's go and have a look. I'm nervous. Right, ready? Yeah. No, what? Got nothing to do. What do you mean? Oh. Ah, it's got, got no key. Got no bloody key in. Right then. First time, not so lucky. He turned, he turned, he turned, but we had no spark. At that point, we started looking at points and voltages and this and that. And after all day, <laughs> literally all day, chasing voltages and many phone calls, shout out to Dave Norris. 40 years of Healy experience, and he really come to our help on that one. And dad's mate, Andy Robbins massive massive result that was um we had a problem with our isolator we went for a more modern style isolator as opposed to the older style isolator which was grounding the lead that went to the points which was causing us not to have any spark so that rectified and we tried again have a watch i'm a lot nervous now we've spent all day trying to get it going Are we gonna have a go? got no choice to have a bash I'll go, I'll go half pedal. I don't know where to water with a choke. Because there's plenty of fuel about, isn't there? Yeah, it ain't cold, is it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
so we lasted 12 minutes. Then we found a water leak, then we tightened it, then it got worse, then we had to knock it off. But it's okay, problem solved, rectified, fill back up with water, and then we started her up again. Let's just say I'm going to sleep easier tonight because that is a, a big relief. That's over two years of work um, and it all comes down to that. It now runs, but we're not in the clear because if we we're in the clear, we wouldn't be able to keep bringing you videos every week. So um, we've got a few little, uh, little things to rectify. We've got a little leak from the body of our distributor, little oil leak over the back. We also had a water leak halfway through um, as you... Uh, as you notice, which we rectified. The throttle cable is not returning properly. We need to look into our Revitec fan controller, but it runs and it runs beautifully. It runs really, really well. Where do we go from here? I've been down here for 10 hours with dad today and it's Father's Day. Best Father's Day present ever? Yes, yes, I think it is. Um, I'm in a great mood. I'm in a great place. I'm tired. I need to go in, I need to get this lot edited down so that you guys can see it. Um, massive result. I don't know why I'm still talking. I should be in bed. If you enjoyed this video guys, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from us, don't forget to subscribe. And I've got a new camera and microphone on the way. So hopefully we'll be able to improve our video and sound quality so you can hear us and see us better. Have a wonderful week. We'll see you soon next week. We'll be rectifying many, many issues, but at least she runs. I'm happy. Take care, guys. See you soon.